from the minute the Lexus Mark influenced its presentation at the North American International Auto to appear in Detroit 29 years back, the LS has been the division's lead. Be that as it may, the extravagance fragment, much the same as whatever remains of the vehicle advertise, progressively is getting some distance from cars and toward hybrids. So Lexus is trying things out for what it names another lead extravagance hybrid with the introduction of the LF1 limitless idea at the current year's Detroit Car Expo. What does the range topic Lexus hybrid resemble? A considerable measure like an Infiniti QX70, surprisingly. The extents positively reflect those of the hybrid initially known as the FX, most likely in light of the fact that, similar to the Infiniti, the Lexus utilizes a back-drive design. That takes into account a long hood, a liberal dash to pivot proportion, and short front shade. While the organization specifies the idea's back-drive roots, concerning the motor, clearly that is the place the word limitless comes in. Lexus shrugs and says it could have energy unit half-breed, module cross-breed, fuel, or even all-electric power. Size-wise, the LF1 is significantly bigger than the now-ceased moderate-size Infiniti, 3.5 inches longer in wheelbase, 6.1 inches longer in general, more than 2 inches more extensive, and about 2 inches lower. The idea's flanks are smooth, with surfacing that is less occupied than we've seen on generation Lexus models of late. In advance, in any case, the axle grille is taken to a much more prominent extraordinary. The halfway mounted Lexus logo seems, by all accounts, to be applying gravitational draw on all the sash components encompassing it, making a cartoonish, excruciating looking frown. One can dare to dream it will be conditioned down for a generation. The other outside peculiarity is the back spoiler which has a vast hole in the middle, in the middle of, the liftgate glass seems to wrap up onto the rooftop. All the more ordinarily, for an idea in any event, the LF1 likewise includes flush entryway handles, which uncover a Lexus logo when they fly out, and rides on 22-inch wheels. The LF1 is only a hair longer than the new 3-push Lexus RX 350L, yet it has just four seats inside. Every one of the four seats are a similar high upheld, white cowhide upholstered cans. Before the driver there's a focal instrument screen flanked by two side C camera shows. Physical catches and handles are generally expelled, normally, with the vehicle rather reacting to motion controls and a touch-touchy haptic board on the inside support. Raised situate riders have screens incorporated with the front seat backs and their own particular haptic board. Dim dark colored capskin, metal accents, and genuine wood spruce up the inside. The wood entryway trim has little gaps lit up by LEDs in various hues. Self sufficient driving ability, here called chauffeur mode, is obviously included. Human pilots can control vehicle speed with paddles close by the guiding wheel, and moving is through catches on the wheel center point. For the time being, Lexus isn't stating whether a creation form of the LF1 would supplant the LS, be sold nearby it, or sit above it in the lineup. Should the LF1 achieve showrooms, we'd say the landing of a hybrid lead would stamp the third greatest occasion in the brand's history, after the introductions of the RX, the long-term top merchant, and the first LS400, every one of the three of which were first observed at the Detroit Automobile Fair.